I don't care if you think the two shits on Zoom are hot. I'm not going out with either one of them. Don't you think it's time you got over Zane? It's not about Zane. Ileana, he is engaged to Jessica. I don't care if he marries her tomorrow. It's not about Zane. It's about me wanting to take the time to make sure that I fully process what happened and that I'm in a good place. Well, they do say the best way to get over someone is to go with someone new. Unless you're in LA, of course. That's a dumpster fire. Exactly, which is why I'm not falling into that mind sink. <laughs> There's a reason people recommend it. Yeah, <laughs> because misery wants to stay around misery. <sighs> Think about it. I was in a relationship with someone for four years. <laughs> We spend all this time together. We go through the motions as if all is good. And the next logical step is to prepare for marriage and move in together, but no. Well, you are right. That's the order of the relationship. Yeah, except someone throws a wrench in the program and Zane goes to Caprio on me. Oh my God, you're right. Zane is DiCaprio without the cash. Exactly. So this is my reality. He sings me songs of love on my 21st birthday. He infiltrates my world with flowery language, <laughs> brings down my guard. I fall in love with the fool. <laughs> Yet on my 25th birthday, the world shifts for him and suddenly he's not that into me. It's not like he says anything. He's just not as engaged as he was before. <sighs> and it leaves me with my confidence shaken and me wondering what's wrong with me. Oh, you're right. I remember he started hanging out with his friends more and more. And you would make these plans for these weekend getaways and he'd have some excuse like work, right? But then he'd make plans to go to a game or something with the guys later. It felt like crap, but I'm not dwelling on that. I'm refocusing on my priorities and what brings me joy. I'm not sitting around wondering what plans to make with someone else. I basically pick a place like Madrid and go. And the pictures were incredible. And the people, you met so many wonderful people there too. Yeah. And now I'm more fluent in Spanish than I ever was. And I formed some incredible friendships. Annie, my heart is full. I'm happy. So much so that I froze my eggs. You froze your eggs? What? Yeah. I don't want to be in a hurry to find a man just because my clock is ticking. The right man will come around at the right time. But in the meantime, I'm going to focus on being the best version of me. I hope Pacino won't be the only one who can kids to you too. For your sake, I hope it doesn't take you that long. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun.